you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hello YouTube, it is Farmhand Mike bringing you a video from the small town of Seymour, Texas. I am at the tractor shop in Seymour, Texas. This is a family owned business that started out as a repair shop in 1990 and worked their way up and in 2006 became a full line versatile tractor dealer. This dealership mostly sells the articulated four-wheel drive versatiles as that is what is common in this area. This area mostly grows wheat, cotton, and a lot of cattle. I was down here just as the 2021 winter wheat harvest was kicking off. A lot of custom harvesters in town, but right before I got here, the night before, they got three and a half inches of rain, and these guys have been having a real struggle getting the wheat harvested down in this part of the world. We're just going to go through the line here of a couple of trackers they have on the lot. Everything here is sold except the 315 and just sitting out front here waiting to be delivered. When the wheat gets harvested down in this area, these guys will start working the ground right away. Once that wheat comes off, they're going to come out here with discs, chisel plows, you name it. They're going to start working that wheat stubble up as this area grows a lot of winter wheat that they graze cattle on over the winter. I've talked about this procedure in several of my other wheat harvest videos from the state of Oklahoma and Texas, how they grow continuous wheat in these fields year after year and graze cattle on them over the winter. If you'd like more information on that, you can definitely go back on my channel and find those wheat harvest videos from Oklahoma and Texas and learn more about that. We're going to go around the dealership here and just take a look around and see what all's going on and I'm just going to show you their place. Seymour, Texas has a population of a little over 2,700 people. It can get very hot and dry here in the summer. In fact, temperatures will be well over 100 degrees in the summer months, and their record recorded high here was 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Their winters are fairly mild to cool, but not too bad. And for Seymour being a small town on the plus side, they do have a Dairy Queen here. But with all the rain they've received in the last few weeks and with the three and a half inches they got the night before I was here, I'm not going to be able to bring you any wheat harvest or tillage videos from this area right now. But what I can bring you is this nice looking versatile 118 tractor they have parked out front that you will see right when you walk in the front door. The Versatile 118 tractor was built at the Versatile factory in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada between 1967 and 1971. It was powered with a Cummins six-cylinder diesel engine that was 5.8 liters in size or 352 cubic inches. It was rated at 118 horsepower and in 1970 this tractor would have sold for approximately $15,000. $500 and would have weighed in somewhere around 13,000 pounds. And hey, we're talking about that. Let's check out some of the used tractors or trade ins they have here at the dealership and then we will take a walk through part of the shop. There is a lot of versatile tractors in this area, so when you come to the tractor shop, it is not uncommon to see about every era of versatile tractors in their shop getting worked on. You never know what you're going to see here. It could be from the 118 all the way up to the new ones. And let's take a look here at this 846. Looks in pretty good shape for a 1980s tractor. I've always liked this series of versatile tractors. And you can also find some 846s or designation 6 versatile tractors in Ford Blue.
All right, let's take another look at this 118. They even have a few salvage tractors out back. Let's fly over and check these things out. And if you want more information on the tractor shop or want to get a hold of them, you can simply do an internet search by typing in the tractor shop Seymour, Texas, and their website should come up. That's about going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Something a little different, but hey, I got to take what I can get when you get three and a half inches of rain and can't get out in the field. Anyways, feel free to hit that like button and comment below. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Remember, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike, and as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media. Maybe one of these days I can make it down here when it's dry and catch some of these tractors in the field in action.